This is Dr. Henry Borenson. Let's see how we would do a verbal problem with hands-on equations. We have here three times a number increased by two is the same as the number increased by ten. Find the number. So the unknown is the number. So therefore let's begin by writing down let the blue pawn be the number. Now we're ready for the setup. Since it says three times a number, and since the blue pawn represents the number, we will have three blue pawns to represent three times a number. And now it says increased by two. So we're now going to need to add the cube, the red cube, with the number two. And on the other side, because it says is the same as, so we have to go to the other side, is the same as the number increased by 10. So on the other side, we will need a blue pawn and a 10 cube. So this is the setup for the problem. Now notice that we have a blue pawn here and a blue pawn here. Okay, let me just highlight those two. Uh, we have a blue pawn on each side, and therefore we can do a legal move. We may remove them and still maintain the balance, so let's do that. At this point, by inspection, we can see that the pawn is 4, because 4 and 4 is 8 and 2 is 10, and on this side we have 10. Or, if the student wishes, the student can do another legal move. The student can take away 2 value from this side, a 2 value from the 10, that becomes an 8, and so we see that if both pawns are 8, that each one is going, going to be worth 4. So let's write down pawn is equal to 4. Now notice that we have not yet answered the question to the problem. The problem said find the number. So at this point we need to have a full sentence. We need to write down in full sentence format the number is, well, notice that the representation was the pawn is the number and the pawn is 4, so therefore we can say the number is 4. At this point the only thing left to do is the check, okay? As in every hands-on equations uh, problem, we do the check. Also with verbal problems, we do the check. Now there are two methods for doing the check. I would like to show you both of them. Uh, method number one is we go back to the original verbal statement. Okay, if the number is four, three times the number, well three times the number would be 12, increased by 2, that would be 14, so let me write down 14, is the same as the number, which we said was 4, increased by 10, and that's also 14. So we see that our answer did work out. Method 2 for doing the check is to redo the original setup for the problem and do the check there. So let's go back and do it again. Three times a number increased by 2 is the same as the number increased by 10. We said that the pawn was worth 4, so we now have 4, 8, 12, and 2 is 14. 4 and 10 is 14, so once again we have that the check is 14 is equal to 14. So let's review then the procedure we have used for solving this problem. The first step was to represent the unknown using pawns and number cubes. The second step which was to do the physical setup if you have the pawns and cubes or to do the pictorial setup by doing a drawing, solving for the pawn, writing down the answer in full sentence format, and then doing the check either in the original verbal statement or in the setup of the problem. This is Dr. Henry Borenson. I would like to wish you continued success with hands-on equations.